Breaking news. I was just told, why did the tornado cross the road? To take the road to the other side. <laughs> I don't know who came up with that joke, but let's get into this thing. Let's go! Hey guys, my name is Jesse Weiser. Hopefully that joke wasn't too bad. But I'm a broker here in Springfield, Missouri, and I just really want to work with you guys. If you guys are looking at all to move into Missouri, doesn't matter where, we can definitely help you. WiserLivingRealty.com. If you guys want to check out houses there, you definitely can. Reach out to us. We want to hear from you. So obviously today we are talking about a topic that is scary to most. Obviously, if you've seen The Wizard of Oz, you're probably scared of tornadoes. Everyone gets scared of tornadoes. Everyone gets scared of a lot of things, but we're gonna tackle the tornado head on today in this video. So if you don't live in Missouri or this area, you really don't know what to expect about tornadoes. We're gonna dive into that a little bit. And I'm going to kind of hopefully take that fear from you a little bit by giving you some facts. So. Let's just dig right in. So here is the textbook definition of a tornado. A mobile destructive vortex of violently rotating winds having the appearance of a funnel shaped cloud and advancing beneath a large storm system. So basically all in all, this is just cold air and hot air just combining together, creating wild winds. And sometimes it kind of circles and creates and destroys stuff. It sounds a little scary, but let's look a little closer at some facts. Most tornadoes are weak and last only two or three minutes on average. It's the stronger and more intense ones that last longer. Strong tornadoes typically last eight minutes, violent ones lasting 25 minutes. In rare cases, violent events can last more than three hours. So why do we want to talk about these tornadoes? That's because we kind of live in a tornado alley a little bit. This is a nickname given to our area that consistently experiences a high frequency of tornadoes each year. Tornadoes in this region typically happen in late spring and occasionally the early fall, whenever those late summer storms roll in. But those late summer storms, they're in and out in an instant. It's the spring ones you have to worry about. <laughs> So there were a lot of different diagrams you can find. Truly, we will show you all the different maps of Tornado Alley right here. Missouri always looks like it's on the edge of Tornado Alley. It may be shifting east due to environmental factors, but traditionally, we are known to be in Tornado Alley. The US has the most tornadoes around the whole world. More than 1,000 tornadoes reported per year since 1990. So we do live in an area that is favorable to crazy and kind of extreme weather. The weather here in Missouri is constantly changing all the time. So let's talk about the signs of danger before a tornado comes. So be on the lookout for dark and often greenish sky. Green skies don't always mean tornadoes, but they show it's a severe storm. The green must be with the, with the blue and the yellow and it's just like it's going through the clouds, so it kind of makes it green. There's science behind that, there's gotta be. Also with tornadoes, large hail comes. And if you didn't know, and you own a house and there's a hailstorm that comes through, you can claim it on your insurance and you just have to pay the deductible and you get a brand new roof. If you do have a roof and you have hail come through, reach out to us and we can give you a great recommendation. I got five new roofs on rental homes last year, so I am a living proof that it if a hailstorm comes in, you can get it on your insurance. Just reach on out. We got your guy. There's also a large, dark, like low lying cloud that is kind of rotating. That's kind of a given. That looks like a tornado, you know, <laughs> run the other way. And sometimes tornadoes make a loud roar, sometimes like a, like a really loud train of some sort. So if you start hearing that, you're like Dorothy, get on out of there. Tornadoes generally occur on the backside of big storms. So don't be surprised if a tornado just rips through a whole city and then it's just bright skies at the end. So here are some tips and tricks and scenarios that if you encounter a tornado, you're just driving along, you're like, what the heck is that? Here's some tips that you can take to help with a tornado. So first off, if you're just driving down the road, bunch of cornfields and whatnot, and you see a tornado just staring at you, and it's coming straight at you, don't turn around and drive away from it because it's gonna eventually catch up to you and just 
take you up. You don't want that to happen, right? Two things that you can do. One, you can go in a 90 degree angle and go away from it. Usually when people turn around, it makes no sense. I would probably drive straight through that cornfield with the corn to <laughs> and not get hit by a tornado and apologize to the farmer. Sorry for hitting all your corn. It was either me or the corn, right? Go 90 degrees from the tornado. Don't go away from it and you're in the path of it. Hit a hard right or left. This is your right. Hit a hard right and get away from it. Number two, if you can't outrun it and it's so big, a good thing of what they say is get out of your car. Your car is not going to protect you. Your uh, debris can hit you in the car or whatever. It's not going to protect you. Get in a ditch, cover your head, and pray to Jesus that the tornado doesn't hit you. <laughs> now, if you are home and you see a tornado or you know a tornado is coming, get the pots, put it on your head, get in the closet that's not around windows or anything, and bunker down and I don't know why, but for some reason talking about tornadoes, it's just <laughs> So in reality, a place away from windows in the home is great. So wherever the centralized location, sometimes that's a closet, sometimes that's a bathroom. Some houses have basements. Basements are great for tornadoes. Something about being in that concrete, it'll skip. It's kind of like a ditch. It'll just skip right over uh, because basements are on a hill. So it's but don't forget, you should always have like an emergency kit, sometimes a battery operated radio. So whenever a tornado is going on, you can hear the, the weather and everything, what where the tornado is and everything. That's great to have some emergency food is good for that and pots and pans if you really want a helmet and stuff. So if you don't have a basement home or you don't feel safe at your house, there are FEMA shelters in the area. So I know Nixa's school is a shelter for tornadoes. Uh, there's just a lot of good shelters. I know Willard has one, but just look it up in the area. And if there's a tornado coming, they open up those shelters. You can go there anytime and it's free. It's, it's a great place for the community to go to, to feel safe. Now that we're through the facts, I want to let you know the real things that you should know about tornadoes. What I want to emphasize right here is tornadoes are scary, but they really don't happen as often as people think that they do. There's only two recorded tornadoes on average in the Springfield area, so that's really not as much as what people think. So last year, there's only 16 tornadoes recorded in all of Missouri. But remember, that's all over the state and there's 114 counties in the entire state. That's a lot of counties. So we don't want to minimize the threat of tornadoes. Like they do exist and they are intense sometimes, especially house damage at time, from time to time. Tornadoes aren't something we constantly worry about, but it is good to have precautions set in advance so you know like where you're going in your house if a tornado ever comes. Like we know what room and what we're going to do if a tornado comes. I'm 30 something years old. I never been hit by a tornado yet. Also, we're going to provide some videos down below in the description, so check those out so you can help prepare yourself. But in the meantime, hit that subscribe button. I know you're watching this without subscribing. Anyways, see you guys right over here in the next video, and watch for deer. <laughs> Dark. I just spit everywhere. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Are you going to put that in there? Maybe. <laughs>